Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles. I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take the results to the next level. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a concept called the vibe in the room. The vibe in the room. All right. Now, it's a little bit of an unusual thing to talk about. But we need to realize that the energy in the room matters so much when we are teaching, when we're training, when we're educating people. And we need to realize that ultimately we need to take responsibility for that as the trainer in the room and the person that's setting the tone and leading the journey, so to speak. And as a human, we just would probably all agree that energy trumps words. Energy trumps words. What we mean by that is we feel you before we hear you. We feel your energy before you speak or your words come out of your mouth, right? So if we think about this for a second, if we want our audience to be motivated, what do we need to be? Well, highly likely we need to be motivated and excited ourselves. If we want our audience to be curious, what do we need to be? Well, we need to be willing to be curious. If we want our audience to be excited, what do we need to be? Excited. It's not rocket science here, folks. But many people do not take personal responsibility for their own energy they bring into the training room. And that's okay to a degree. But eventually when you have the aha moment that your energy is setting the tone, you start to realize, wow, what is actually possible? And I'll, I'll start out with a bit of a story here. You see, for me, very early on in my career, I got this concept and I realized I was traveling through some very personal, difficult stuff I had. In one week, I had um, a girlfriend at the time break up with me. The same week, and I also was about to lose a real estate deal and go bankrupt, right? Now, the thing is, if I'd taken that depressive energy or that stressed energy into the training room, the audience would have felt that. The, the audience would have been like, oh, well, there's something up with Mark here. Or, you know, is Mark okay, right? And that would have devalued the energy, devalued the experience for the learners. And I needed to take personal responsibility for my own energy that I was bringing in the room. And the other aspect to it is, if the energy is flat in the room, that may be because of you. All right, a bit of a strange thing to say, but... Ultimately, if you are not giving people breaks, if you're not getting people standing up and moving around, and you're not taking personal responsibility for the levels of excitement, the levels of interest in the room, well, that may be on you, right? So you need to be proactively taking responsibility and going, how can I shift the energy in the room? Now, back to you for a second before you present. So let's come back to the story about me and my, how bad my life was, right? And one of my mentors, he shared with me some strategies that he was using, and I started to adopt them as well. And I started to get very good at leaving my personal stuff at the door and showing up and just being present to my audience. How did I do that? Well, I started using breathing apps, right? And to just lower my anxiety, right? And just doing breathing exercise before I deliver any kind of training at all. Next thing I have, um, as many of you know, I've got a music uh, list or playlist that I listen to. The other thing is I ask myself the question, the critical question, what are going to be the biggest challenges or consequences that this audience that I'm about to speak to right now do not, uh, if they don't hear and act on the message I'm about to share with them. And just getting myself back into the mindset of it's all about my audience. It's all about my audience and not about me. And answering that question going, wow, well, they'll probably suffer with this. They'll probably suffer with that. They won't be able to do X. They won't be able to do Y. And uh, they'll probably have difficulty with this. And I realized by going in and sharing my message powerfully, they'll be able to resolve those issues and challenges, right? So I'll say the question again, what is the biggest challenges or consequences that this audience will face if they don't hear and act on the message I'm about to share with them? You can also go positive and say, what are the benefits that this audience are gonna face, are gonna enjoy if they do hear my message and do go and use what I'm about to share with them, right? So. At the end of the day, when we put our mind in a place of service, 
suddenly we go, wow, it's not about me right now. It's all about them. And we come in to the training room or the workshop environment excited and ready to help our people or whatever the audience may be, right? And at the end of the day, the energy is your responsibility. And your energy is your responsibility. And when you take that mindset, you suddenly go, huh, how can I set an even more positive intention for the training experience for my learners? How can I create that? How can they feel like I'm really here to serve them? And when you do that, guess what? Energy is going to propel the success. As we said in the beginning, energy trumps words. So get your mindset right. Get your positivity right, and then the experience is going to be so much better for your learners, right? So come in, not as a wet blanket, but as a person that really cares, shows they care, and is really positive with their language, right? You know, we're going to have a great time here, folks. Just want to acknowledge everyone for supporting everyone. Whatever it is, say it the way that you want people to experience it and throw it out and make it like this is the best experience I've ever had and will be and will continue to be, right? Set the tone and get good at setting the tone. It's a lot of fun, all right? But you don't want to walk in as a negative person and go, oh, this is the last thing I'd rather be. This is the last thing I'd like to be doing here, right? Because your audience are going to feel it, right? So energy in the room of yourself is going to impact the audience and your energy is your responsibility and the energy in the room is also your responsibility. And then dropping, that's your fault. That's on you. That's on you, right? Because ultimately, you should be creating such an amazing experience that your audience feel high and are excited to get involved. And if you're not, well, maybe again, you should be rethinking how you're delivering your session, all right? And we got lots of videos on that. So check out the channel. On, the, on that note, thanks for watching, team. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, take on the idea. Even if you believe it or not, believe everything is your responsibility and anything and everything that happens in the training room is also your responsibility as well. Then. Thanks for watching, team, and we'll see you on the next one. As always, speak to be remembered, speak to have an impact, and speak to get amazing results for your audience because it's all about your audience, not about you. Thanks, team. We'll see you on the next one.